How are you doing, everybody? It's Craig, and I'm either back again, or if this is the first video you're watching of the day, it was one before, go find it, it was a fun one. But this is video number two, and there's a third one coming as well. And in my first video, I did mention, if I, if I had the chance to, I definitely want to give some love to small businesses. You know, um, like go to a drugstore in my town instead of CVS, stuff like that. Um, but... This is not CVS. This is from Nightmare Toys. And I'll be honest, I discovered Nightmare Toys as being part of Joe Sasahara. Christie's on there. She does a lot of advertising. Daryl purchased some. Mr. Meathook purchased some them. And I'm like, I'm right on board with that. So, as soon as there's a bunch of things I wanted to pick up, as soon as I had a chance to do it, I checked the site, see what they had. They had some of the stuff I wanted. So, the stuff they had that I wanted, I got from them. Some of the other stuff I worked to get elsewhere. Like the Freddy you saw in the last, uh, last video. But I believe if everything is in this box, and I didn't look to see if anything was back ordered, there should be six items. If something's back ordered, there'll be less, and I'm sure they'll be here eventually. So I'm not I'm gonna put the box on the side. <coughs> Although it's not a blind box since I ordered everything. That's it that's in here. Okay, let's see. Wow, it's right off the bat. Phenomenal packing job. Yeah, and I think everything is in here. So let's start with the thing that would surprise you most that I got. Because those of you who watch my channel, you kind of know there's certain things I buy, some things I don't buy. And I think this will surprise you a little bit. But I bought myself. And I do appreciate the bubble wrap because it will be reused. I bought myself. A living dead doll, the nun. I do not have many of these. Um, I can look at the ones I have right now, and I'll tell you, I have Sam. I have Pennywise, and I have The Exorcist. But I had to have the nun. I went to Catholic school, an evil nun. I know they're out there, so yay. A kid, kind of. And what better to go next to The Exorcist than the evil nun? You know, maybe they'll make friends. So that, I don't see getting any other ones. You know, like, I know there's the Freddy Jasons and those. Those don't do anything for me. Uh, but if there's a neat one-off character, maybe. So we got that. Then we got two ultimate figures. And I would have gotten more. I would have gotten the other one if she had, if they had it yet. Um, I will keep an eye on the site. Because there's four new ultimate releases. One of which is an exclusive, so they wouldn't have it. But then the other three, in theory. But this is Mr. Yosun Voorhees. And that is, that is just tremendous. And I know, I, what are you looking at? What else say? It's You have it to keep. Ah, uh, look at that. Can you see that well? Is there the gray? There you go. I think that takes the gray off. These ultimate figures are great with everything they have in them. I love the artwork, too, on the front of the boxes, you know, and, and I like to try to hang them. I have in the past, but I don't know about you, I've not had luck. Usually it gives up when you hang it. The figures don't, but this strap usually, I guess, because they're weight, maybe, but I like this a lot. Kudos. Probably the thing I'm most excited about opening is this one, and if you're doing the math, you're like, well, he said this for new ultimates, one's exclusive. We know what that is, so you know this is one of two crowns, right? This is the Pennywise Skarsgård version, which is fine. I liked Curry more, but had nothing, nothing wrong with Skarsgård in my opinion. So I will happily have both of them in my collection, if it wants to open. They really did. Whoever does these packaging, Nightmare Toys, you package better than freaking... Any of the bigger companies. But I have shit on the phone. Look at that. Yo, Fro 2. I do like the variant. I will get the variant from GameStop eventually. Um, I say that. Funds are low. But like, what are you doing on boxing? Yeah, but the credit cards helped for a little bit. Um, but let's take a look at the heads. You have. Yeah, you have the two heads. Three heads total. You have the boat. I definitely do want the other one. The other one, I think, the other one, I think, comes with four heads. 
the bloody arm, and he's covered in blood. Um, and I, again, it just looks neat. I do like the fact that the hand here to hold the baroon. That's very cool. The Pennywise 91 comes with a whole bundle of baroons, which is probably even better. Okay. Things are getting messy. So that's the final three things I'm going to take out all at once. Do 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 do. Okay, I'm taking them all at once. It's good that I want to. Well, by the way, if you don't know Nightmare Toys, here's their information. Okay, let me move some of this back into the box, because they have to do a lot of rearranging with stuff, for the time being. And the other things I got, I got the minifigures from it, and I'm going to tell you why. Because I want to have some fun, and Phil, from Phil's Creepy Vids, a while back did a, um, a very funny video in which he had his shining Danny, his pop Danny, uh, talk with Pennywise. And at one point he even had like Danny, I think Danny, I tooted, and then Pennywise's hair blew back. It, it's very cute. So I saw these figures, and then I remembered I have the Stranger Things figures exactly like these. So sometime in the near future... I'm going to attempt to get creative, and we're going to film a little video where the world of it and the world of Stranger Things crosses over. What that will mean for Richie, I don't know. It's going to confuse a hell out of people. But here, here's what I got. Um, okay, and it looks like set... See, set three, I've never, I didn't see off it on the site. I would have got it if I saw set three. Um, set three has the people like, where's, where's Stan and Mike? Well, that's, there they are, that's set three. So if set three comes out, I will pick that up too. So here we go. We have one Pennywise version. We have Beverly and Ben. And I do kind of think, I guess maybe because I'm a chunky guy myself, I think they overemphasize Ben just a little bit. Like, don't pick on the poor kid. It's bad enough you trapped him in there with his girl who can't wait to get away. And then you have Richie, Eddie... And, and, it, and I like that. They even gave Eddie his little cask. His cast. And the lobster Pennywise. These are neat. These are fun codes. It's probably as close as I get to fun code stuff nowadays. Um, but I am going to have fun eventually. It and Stranger Things, they're going to cross paths. And we'll see what crazy chaos ensues there. Um, keep in mind, though, I do everything off of a regular camera. So we're going to have to see how well that pause, the start and stop buttons work. But... I think it could be fun. Anyway, thanks for checking out video number two. Video number three, that's the exciting one. That's the mystery one. I don't know what it is. So check that out, too. Um, I'm going to say this at the end of every video. Horror Mountain is back. 3 p.m. Eastern Time on this channel. Darren Mitchell and myself and good old-fashioned horror debates. Feel free to check it out. Sunday, 3 p.m. Eastern. Thanks for checking out my video, everybody.